So, hard drive troubles, your drive straight up not showing up on your PC. Well, today I'm gonna to be running through the top five methods that will allow you to fix that problem, and we're starting right now. All right, so let's dive right in here with method number one, and that is going to be keeping it simple and just trying a different USB port to start. So sometimes, especially if a USB hub is involved, there can be disruptions in connectivity or inactivity between a USB port and your PC, which can result in this problem. And so the obvious solution then is just to try a different port. Try a different port on your USB hub, try a port on the front of your computer, on the back of your computer, or even trying a different cable can all make a difference. Now something else that can help, especially if your drive is on the older side, is to try a USB 2.0 port instead of a 3.0 port, which will be indicated in blue. And sometimes this can be more beneficial for older drives that are from, you know, the early 2000s and so on. And this can provide a little bit better connectivity for those older technologies. All right, so method number two is going to be initializing or reinitializing the drive in order to reinstate the drive's functionality. So if your hard drive happens to be brand new, then you're likely going to have to initialize it before you can use it. It's pretty much like activating the drive for use and it won't work without it. To initialize the drive, it's really simple. All you have to do is make sure the drive is connected to your computer, then right click start and then hit disk management, then right click the external drive that says not initialized and then click initialize drive, then press okay. Then to use the disk, you need to format it. So right click the unallocated space and click new simple volume and hit next. Then specify how large you want the volume to be in megabytes, which will most likely just be the entire disk. So then hit next again and assign a drive letter. And if you want, you can of course leave most of this as default as Windows will automatically choose the best options for the drive based on what it is, how it works, etc. Then finally click finish and afterwards the drive should be usable. All right, halfway done. Method number three is going to be using a diagnostic tool to let Windows diagnose and fix the problem for us. The one in particular that we'll be using comes in the form of a CMD command line, and it can be a beneficial thing to try before you try anything a little bit more invasive. So of course, make sure that your drive is connected to your computer. Then go ahead and press the Windows and S key together and search up command prompt. Then right click the first result and hit run as administrator. And if you're prompted, allow access. Then run this command to bring up the troubleshooter. Click on advanced and make sure apply repairs automatically is ticked. Then click next and the troubleshooter will start to scan your system for potential issues. Then when the scan is finished, you can click view detailed information to see an overview of the scan. So then at this point, since we did of course tick the automatically apply repairs option, then it will go ahead and fix the drive if there were any issues found that it is capable of repairing. And if that fixed the issue, then you're good. All right, moving on to method number four. This is one I've covered a little bit before in past videos, but that is going to be assigning a new drive letter to the hard drive to allow Windows to re-recognize the drive. This can reset some important metadata that can allow improved communication between the computer and our drive, which in some cases can actually fix the issue entirely. And so giving this a try can be very helpful. And of course, like the other methods, it's pretty simple. Make sure the drive is connected to your computer, of course and then right click start and hit disk management. Then right click on the external drive in question, then select change drive letter. From the drop down menu, select a drive letter and press okay. Then okay again to close the dialog window. And so at this point, your drive will disconnect for a couple seconds and then reconnect as the new drive letter. You can also rename it if you want. And at this point, it may have fixed the problem, so you're good to go. All right, now for the last method, method number five is going to be a bit of a two in one. That is gonna be formatting the drive and then using data recovery software to pull the files off afterwards. So sometimes there's no way around it. Sometimes you just have to format your drive. It's kind of the holy grail of drive fixes, but of course it comes with the caveat of deleting everything. But in exchange for clearing off all the files, it really starts you with a clean slate and almost like a fresh brand new drive. But of course you lose all your stuff. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way, as we're gonna be using data recovery software after the fact to bring the files back to life. But you need to follow closely because there are a couple things that you need to make sure you do in order to have that be a possibility. So here we go. First, of course, make sure that your drive is connected to your PC, then right click start and hit disk management. Then find your hard drive and right click it and click format. 
then specify a name for the drive as well as a file system, and then make sure that you perform a quick format. This will allow us to actually go into the drive and have the possibility and capability of pulling files off with the software afterwards. Then when you're ready, click OK. All right, so we're done with the scary part. That's the formatting. But now what about the file recovery software? Well, we're going to be using one of the best, and that just happens to be Disk Drill, which gives you all the power and tools that you need in this exact scenario. It's quick, it's easy, it's powerful, and you can download it from the link down below in the description. And so let's do it. Go ahead and connect your drive to your PC and then open up Disk Drill. Next, select your external drive from the list and click search for lost data. Now, of course, the scan time will vary depending on the size of your drive, but typically it'll be in between 30 minutes and an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and let that finish and I'll come back once it's done. Just go ahead and click review found items. And now using the drop down menus in the middle or the categories on the left hand side, you can find the files that you want to recover. And once you find them, go ahead and put a check mark next to them, then hit recover and choose your save location. Now make sure that your save location is not saving to your hard drive. That's very important. And once you've chosen a save location, click OK and Disk Drill will recover the files. And that is it. That is how you recover your files from a drive, in this case a hard drive, that is not recognized on your Windows 10 PC. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, always be sure to leave us a like down below. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's video, also be sure to leave those down below in the comments. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you guys soon. My name is Andrew, and I'll see you later.